Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Freight Train. He made his first appearance in Outsiders, Volume 4, Issue Number 30, that was released in July of 2010. He's also gone by the alias Cecil, although his real name is Eric Moran. And he's a Canadian-born anti-hero that has variable height and weight, and he has brown eyes and black hair, while also having a metallic reddish-looking skin whenever his power is activated. Now, all of Freight Train's powers are based off of his ability to absorb and store kinetic energy. The more of this energy that he absorbs, the larger his size and density gets. In turn, this allows him to get up to high, moderate superhuman strength and durability levels, as well as considerable superhuman speed. Now, it must be stated that we don't know the upper limits of his kinetic energy absorption. Therefore, we don't know the true upper limits of his power levels. Now, just like several other very unique cases during the Bloodlines storyline, Cecil was one of the few that were bitten by the alien parasites who actually survived and instead developed amazing superhuman powers, becoming one of this new breed of metahumans called New Bloods. Now, as Freight Train, he would quickly learn that he could use his powers to get paid. And it just so happened that his sketchy personality didn't prevent him from hurting people whenever he needed to get his way. He would eventually become an enforcer on the payroll of Simon Stagg, who was the brash owner of a powerful worldwide corporation. This would eventually lead to a scenario where he was pitted against the Outsiders, with Stagg wanting to teach Black Lightning and the rest of the crew about disrespecting his hospitality. Ultimately, this would be a short-lived skirmish, and Freight Train would actually end up helping the Outsiders stop a rampaging creature several hours later. A little while down the road, we'd actually see Freight Train revisit being loyal to the Outsiders, forming a tepid alliance with them after he realized that his employer was not very loyal to him. After several different adventures, we'd even see Freight Train go on to form an alliance with another hero group that was unofficially known as the Dead Heroes Club, which was an offshoot of Batman Inc. Yet whether he's running solo or with a band of others, we won't see Freight Train stray too far off the track of his own interest. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Freight Train a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.